What up, what up, Wimbush here. And Adobe just dropped a big update when it comes to RAM previews inside of After Effects. Now this was just updated yesterday, but now inside of our timeline, instead of being solely dedicated to only using the RAM inside of our timeline, we can now use a disk-based system, which will make it more efficient. So I have After Effects open right now, and this is the beta. This is the only way to access this. But if you look down here inside of my timeline, as I'm scrolling through, everything is completely green. Now this is for a TV show that I worked on recently. Everything is 4K, and if I had zero on the keyboard you can see my ram preview is nice and smooth and i'm just running all these graphics at 4k very smoothly inside of my timeline now before this i was able to get up to maybe about four seconds before it stopped at the green part and went to blue which means that it's not going to be playing back anything real time plastic green but now my timeline is completely green and that's because of the new system now, if you want to access it, all you have to do is go to Creative Cloud Desktop over here in the apps. You want to come over here under beta and you'll see it at the top where it says popular beta apps. It will be on your right hand side. You'll have After Effects beta and you'll just install that and then you'll be able to access this. Now, when you have the beta open, everything is going to be on by default. But let me show you exactly where you need to go to get this acclimated just to make sure you have it turned on. So we're going to come up here in the top right where it says edit. Left click on this and then we're going to come down here to preference and we're going to come down here to media disk cache. So I'm going to left click on this and you want to look down here at the bottom where it says advanced options and this will be on by default. But if not, you want to make sure this is turned on. So this is going to enable the preview disk cache. And like I said, whenever you have this turned on, it's not only going to use your RAM, but it's also going to use a disk space for RAM previews in which you're going to want to put that down here. So you want to select your folder here where you want to save it and that's all you have to do. Now I'll leave this link down below just in case you want to read through a little bit more. But if you scroll through here, it gives you the ins and outs of everything that's new. So you're able to deliver longer playback on your durations. But this is the most important one for me because I do a lot of TV shows on 4K and oftentimes around 60 frames per second, 59.98 to be exact. But whenever I would render stuff out, it would only go up to maybe about halfway and that's all I'd be able to see. So I'd have to fully render a project out to see my animations. But now I'm able to do it without any type of constraints. And the nice thing about this too is I noticed it works with MFR, that's multi-frame rendering. So if you have a lot of RAM like myself, I have 128 gigs worth of RAM. I have an SSD drive that I have everything going to and everything has just been moving really fast. But moving on with the documentation, like I was saying, you want to be using a beta. This is the version that's currently out right now. So it's going to be working in this version and beyond. But the most important thing is down here at the bottom, they're actually looking for feedback. So if you have any type of experience working with this and you're hitting any type of snags, make sure you let the Adobe team know so that they can fully go in and update it and make sure everything's playing back nice. So this is one of those things when I saw it drop yesterday, I just felt like I needed to make a video just for all my After Effects users out there so that you're aware of this new feature that I think is going to help out a lot of people. So once again, my name is Jonathan Wimbush. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in that next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.